Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to Valencia Trigonometry. Again, um, this is the solution video for assignment number three. And in order to do well the assignment number three, you need to know how to grab the basic function, the parent's function of psi and cosine. And you need to know what it means uh, amplitude, period, and phase shift. Okay? Uh, in general, I think that the assignment uh, number three is uh, pretty easy compared to the uh, previous assignment. Uh, you just need transformation concept to uh, sketch the, the graph of the side function. Okay. All right. Let's start with our first problem. So on the first problem, I give you the function like this: uh, f of x equal to negative one over two uh, plus one over two. Uh, side 2 pi x and I want you to graph between negative 2 and 2 so uh, first of all we need to recognize the general form of this uh, function and uh, let me reorder this so that is in the form um, uh, a side dx plus c plus k uh, 2 pi x uh, minus over 2 so you see that it uh, you recognize it's in this form right a uh, psi uh, b x plus c plus k with k is a uh, negative half well a is, is 1 over 2 b is uh, 2 pi c is turned out to be 0 because we don't have anything okay so uh, let's see how we wrap this solution Okay. Um, first of all, we want uh, I want to state the amplitude. So the amplitude is always uh, positive. So absolute of uh, a will be absolute of one over two. It will be one over two. So that is uh, amplitude. Uh, we need to find the period. Period of this is a psi function. The parent's function of the psi function is uh, uh, two pi. So the period will be two pi over b be 2 pi over b, b is the value in front of the x, so it will be 2, uh, 2 pi, so the period will be 1, okay, the period mean, it mean uh, uh, one cycle, uh, one revolution can be displaced between uh, 0 and 1, that's what it means, okay, on the x-axis, and the phase shape, <coughs> the phase shape, we don't have any phase shape because uh, you see that if I set this is phase shift. Uh, usually we have to set b x plus c equal to zero, so we set two pi x plus c. We don't have equal to zero x equal to zero, so we don't uh, we don't really want to shift uh, to the right or to the left. However, we can shift uh, uh, down uh, one half unit because case is uh, negative one over two. It means that we go down by a half unit. Okay, so first of all, uh, every time you want to uh, grab the side, com more complicated side cosine function, you need to grab the uh, basic function on the new period. The period is 2 pi, but right now the new period is 1. So I need to grab uh, uh, the side function with amplitude, with new amplitude is a half. Okay, uh, amplitude is half. So I say this is a half. And the period is between uh, zero and one, right? So half of them we uh, what half of one will be one over two. Then this is one over four, okay? And so on. So the side function that look like this, okay? This uh, this is negative uh, negative one over two. So uh, I had a side function that look like this, right? Okay. So that is the side function. <coughs> And uh, uh, then after you grab the parent's function uh, in new period and new amplitude, uh, you need to do a transformation. And uh, you see that this is uh, we are going down half of the unit. We're going down half of the unit. Uh, so I have to say that um, so this is a half, so we're going down half of the unit. So it will be something like this. Let me change a different color. So uh, 
right so this is going to have a unit this is going to have units so we're going to have something like this okay and we keep going down on a half of a unit here uh, so we're going to have something like this there you go okay and we want to be between uh, negative 2 and 2 so this is only 1 so we need to extend it so that we have between negative uh, 2 and 2 so this is 1 right here so 2 is kind of like that right we don't we don't have to be perfect however we need to uh, we need we, we need to be as much perfect as we can okay uh, because uh, just make your graph better so uh, I divide this is 2 here so this will be uh, uh, 3 over 2 and we divide it we keep divided okay so we're gonna have something over like that right and down here okay okay and we'll go all the way down here okay and move up there you go so this is between 0 and 2 but we want negative 2 and 2 so we have to extend the other side also so, so this is the function for y equal to 1 over 2 side of 2 pi x okay and this is the function for uh, uh, 1 over 2 side uh, 2 pi x minus a half <coughs> okay so let me keep extending so this is 1 right here so this is negative 1 right here and this will be negative 2 so I round that so I keep divided I divided uh, here you go something like that okay so we're gonna have the other side of the function so uh, we have uh, we have to go down here and moving back up right so uh, something over here okay so we're gonna have something like that okay then we're moving up over here okay okay and we had to keep going down okay like that and moving up because we want between negative 2 and 2 so we need to grab everything else okay so then we move it up here and we stop it right here we're not going down because if you're going down then this is past negative 2 so we don't want it so we're gonna stop over here okay and you don't want to put the arrow because some student put the arrow here it will, the arrow means that you keep going you extend it it is it means it's wrong okay because we want only between negative uh, two and two make sure you put a dots okay because it's equal okay okay so that is the uh our sketch for the first function it's uh, not really that bad right all you have to do is you just uh, apply a transformation uh, you re recognize the phase shift and the period so first of all you always have to do is you grab a parent function on news uh, on a new period and new amplitude okay that's for the first one number two number two I have a function like this so look like I have a function that amplitude is 20 okay and uh, we see that it's already in, in, uh, in the standard form, a general form. I mean, there's no k value, so we know that uh, for this function we uh, don't have to shift up or down, and we want to grab between negative one and and three. <coughs> okay. So let's take the amplitude. The amplitude we know the amplitude will be twenty. P will be 2 pi over b, will be 2 pi over b is pi, so it will be 2, the amplitude will be 2. The phase shift, okay, the phase shift will set whatever inside turn out to be 0, and you see that we show for uh, x, and x will be half, and we know that this is moving to the right because it's uh, positive. So, first of all, we always have to grab our uh, parent's function. Uh, let me refocus this. 
Okay. Uh, first of all, we always have to grab our parent function with new period and new amplitude. Uh, the amplitude is not one anymore. Okay, so this is the cosine. We always start at the right over here we're on the y axis. And I just mark this is 20. Okay, the amplitude is the 2, so uh, uh, 20, so the period is 2. I know the scale between the x and y axis is not the same, you don't have to. Uh, but you, um, so on the increment, so as long as you have the same increment on the x axis, it will be fine. Or you have the same increment for the y axis, it will be fine. But the, the scale between x and y doesn't have to be the same. Okay, so it will be a 1 here, and it will be half here. And we will be in the negative 20 here. And we know the, the side, uh, cosine function that look like this. Okay, that is the cosine function. And in between uh, uh, 0 and 2, but we want it between negative 1 and 3. So this is 2, so 3 should be over here, right? So you see that uh, from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, and 2 to 3, my increment is kind of the same, okay? And between negative 1 to so negative 1 over here, okay? <coughs> so that is our parent's function for new period and new amplitude. Uh, right now, we need to shift, okay? We need to shift. So let's shift. So this is the parent's function. So this is... Uh, y equal to 20 cosine uh, pi x. Now we need to move to the right half of the unit. So this is 1 over 2. So let's move half of the unit. So this is 0 right here, 20 here. So I move half of the unit. So I move over here. And this is I move here. And this is I move over here. So I will have the function that look like this. There you go. So you see that I move half of unit. And we want it between negative 1 and 3. So we have to go all the way down at 3. Okay. And we want between uh, negative 1. So we must extend a little bit more. There you go. So I have a new function right here. So this is fx equal to 20 uh, cosine pi x minus pi over 2. Okay, it's beautiful, beautiful graph. Okay. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> so it's, you see that it's not really that bad. So that's uh, for number one, number two. Uh, let's see if we can do number three or not. So number three, I have a function y equal to negative two, negative five psi. Um, uh, x over 2 plus pi over 2 and we want it between negative 3 pi less than x less than 5 pi let me uh, reorder this in the general form so a negative psi x over 2 plus pi over 2 minus 2 so you see that b b 1 over 2 c is pi over 2 k is negative 2 and your a is negative 5 so i can get the amplitude will be 5 Okay, it will be fine. <coughs> the period will be uh, 2 pi over b, so it will be 2 pi over a half. So I s recognize that on the test, some students just put 2 pi over 2. Okay, whatever the number in front of x will be the b, so the in front of x will be 1 over 2. Okay, or some students just put uh, 2 pi over 1 instead of one half. So I have this is four pi. The phase shape will be x over two plus pi over two equal to zero. So x over two equal to negative pi over two. So I have x equal to negative pi. So I know this is moving to the left. Okay. You have to move it to the left. Um, okay. <coughs> Then uh, you have to uh, k equal negative 2, so moving down, moving down to unit. Okay. So let's start. Let's start with our parent's function in new period. In new period, which is 4 pi, 4 pi. So I have to say this is 4 pi. This is new amplitude, will be 5. So this is sine function. This is 2 pi over here. 
and of course this is 1 pi this is 3 pi so my sine function it look like this so fine here so negative 5 down here okay so I had a curve it like that like this and you move it up so this is my sine function uh, yeah, five sine would need a so this is the y equal to five sine x over two plus pi over two. Okay. Oh, move too early. Not 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 moving to the right. Uh, and not moving to the um, uh, left. Not yet. Okay. Okay. So um. Now right now we need to consider negative five is negative here negative two it means you reflect over the uh, the x axis so you reflect over the x axis so I'm gonna use this so I reflect it so I have the black color okay so I have the black color there you go. There you go. So this is y equal negative phi psi x over 2. Okay. Then um, you um, now I'm going to move to the left uh, negative pi. So this is uh, this is uh, 4 pi. So this is 2 pi here and this is pi. So I mean you move a little bit to the uh, left. I'm sorry. Move a little bit to the left. So I will have something like this. So I move this to over here, move it over here, this move over here. So I have something uh, like this. Okay, so I have to I move to the left. There you go. There you go. So I move to the left pi unit. So this is uh, pi, negative pi here. Okay. So after I move to the left uh, pi unit, uh, then I have to move down uh, uh, two units. So you know that you know that this is um, uh, this is negative five here. From here to here is negative five. So two is kind of just a little bit, all right? So, uh, so this is a half, which is two point five. So two about like here, okay? So just uh, move down two units. So become negative seven right here. Okay, so my graph will be just like that. Okay, so I move down everything. Okay, I move down a little bit to unit. Okay, and I move down a little bit here also. There you go. See that beautiful graph. Okay, so this is y equal to negative 5 psi. Uh, x over 2 plus pi over 2 minus 2 okay move down to unit and we need to extend it between negative 3 pi and 5 pi so this is 4 pi so so this is 4 pi so 2 pi here so I add a little bit this to this to be 6 pi so this could be 5 pi over here okay and we want 3 pi so this is negative this is uh, 2 pi like this and 3 pi will be over here so negative 3 pi here okay so my final uh, graph will be the red and I have to keep extending so uh, let me see I extend over here right so uh, I move it up okay I move up okay then uh, I move a little bit so this is 4 pi so 5 pi over here so we stop over here right 2 this is uh, 2 4 so this is 6 this is so 5 pi right here there you go and we want to stop at negative 3 pi so uh, this is uh, we had to move up a little bit uh, like over here alright Okay, and we have to go down all the way here. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. See that beautiful. Alright, so my phonograph will be in red color. Okay, so that is for number three. Okay, and number four. <coughs> 
the same thing. So I'm gonna skip some step, okay? So I just go ahead and write out a question. Uh, two plus four. So we know that it's uh, moving up four unit. Uh, amplitude is two. The period will be two pi over b. So it'll be two pi over three. Okay. Um, the phase shift is two up here. Will be the two pi over three. Phase shift will be three uh, x minus pi over four. Uh, pi over 2 equal to 0, so we have 3x equal to pi over 2, so x equal pi over 6, and then now it's moving to the right, pi over 6 unit. Okay, alright, but uh, everything will be the same, and we want to grab between uh, negative 2 pi over 3 and x less than 5 pi over 3. Okay. This is we have to move up, so I try to uh, uh, try to have more space on uh, the top over here. Okay, so I'm gonna just start the flow here. All right. So my new period is two pi over three. Uh, so I'm gonna just mark over here two pi over three. It might divided by two, so I have pi over three over here, and I have pi over six over here. Right. I keep dividing, then I give you the new value. Then uh, I have amplitude is 2, so maybe this is 2. Okay, now I can uh, grab my new side function, a new period. So this 2, this is negative 2. Okay. Alright, so this is uh, y equal to 2 side uh, 3. Uh, Oh, 3x. Okay, now I'm going to shift it to the um, right, pi over 6 unit, so everything move, pi over 6 unit, so let's move from here to here, pi over 6, move over here, so everything just move it to the right, everything just move to the right, so I'm going to have something like that, and have something like this, and of course, I have something uh, down like this, and up here, so the value over here will be what? I have uh, 2 pi over 3 uh, at um, another pi over 6, right? So 2 pi over 3 at another pi over 6. So I have um, uh, <coughs> 5 pi over 6, right? Uh, yeah, 5 pi over 6. So over here will be 5 pi over 6. Um, yeah, so over here will be 5 pi over 6. So that is where we start. Uh, pi, pi, is it 5% but we want 5 pi over 3 though oh. 2 pi over 3 uh, we want uh, 5 pi over 3 not 5 pi over 6 so we need to extend more uh, later we don't stop over here later later let's let's do it later uh, so after we ship it to the uh, right pi over 6 unit now we have to uh, move up uh, four units, so double them. So it'll be two right here will be four. So everything move up four units. So from here I move up four unit two four. So this become this, okay, and this become uh, six two four six, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna have something over here. Uh, my new uh, my new graph will be like this. Okay, so this will be down here. Okay, then we'll, uh, move up four units. So will be over here, and this will be over here. All right. Okay, so that should be like that, but we need to extend it more because when we want to be two negative two three over pi and two pi over three, so the two pi over three, the same increment with uh, this one, so it's two pi over three here, so negative two pi over three, maybe like that, right? So kind of like that, so negative two pi over three here. Okay, so now I keep uh, divided. So uh, I can have something like this. Okay. Then I move up like 
that and I move over here like this okay then I move down here like that there you go there you go <coughs> but we won on the right hand side we won 5 power with 3 and now we at 5 power with 6 hmm so how so we have to double them just imagine if we double 5 pi over 6, right? Uh, then they give you 5 pi over 3. Yeah, so we have to double them. Ooh, that's, that's a pretty big one, though. I don't know, we have enough space, we have to double them. Um, we have to double them. So this is from here to here. So kind of like that. Okay, so we're over here. This is 5 pi over 3 here. Yep. Mm hmm. So we keep uh, dividing to half, half, uh, okay. Mm. No, you divide into three part. It's easier. Uh, so it's three part, three part. There you go. There you go. So we we'll have something over here, right? Um, let me draw the horse. Here you go. So like this. So we have another piece right here. I'm moving down like that. Okay. Then this one. Okay. Move down like this. Move down like this. Okay. And we keep moving up. Okay. That and move out like this. There you go. So that give you five high with three. So this is very beautiful one. So you see that um, when you apply transformation, everything does seem to be uh, very nice and it's beautiful and it's uh, in order. Uh, that's what I want you to do. Okay, beautiful, beautiful one. So I think I'm gonna start over here and do the same for uh, number five, okay? And um, I, I have to tell that the number five will be the same also. Um, if you have any question on number five, just just uh, let me know, or you can uh, we can do uh, we can cover number five in, in class if you want to. Other than that, everything will be the same. You apply transformation for each function, then uh, you uh, make sure that when you divide. Uh, into uh, increments, each increment must be the same, okay? However, the increment of the y doesn't have to be uh, the same as the increment on the x axis. So, you see that this is power 6 and this is between 0 and 2. This doesn't have to be uh, perfect like that. But uh, all the increment on the x axis will be the same, all the increment on the y axis must be the same. Okay, so I think that's all for the video today. I already um, uh, uh, graded your uh, first test. Um, majority did really well. I'm kind of very uh, uh, surprised uh, with that. Uh, and I want you to keep it up like this. Okay, like that. Okay. Always, of course, there's few students that still um, uh, couldn't do well. And uh, I want you to. Um, because this is still the first time I want you to change your behavior so that in the second time you get better and better and better, okay? It's not just about passing the course, okay? It's about uh, learning something else, something new because uh, later you, uh, it's come back to you, you know? All the cards that will here, you might have to use it uh, 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 in, in, in calculus or in physics and, and later on in uh, your engineering and in your science um, a major in science degree. So, yeah, so I think that's all for uh, uh, the lecture today. Uh, if you have any question? let me know. Uh, if you love the channel, just go ahead and subscribe it uh, so that you don't have to uh, worry about checking the email uh, for the new uh, uh, video lecture. Oh, one more thing uh, for us for the test or the solution or test, I just scan it and send it to you, okay? I, I don't have enough time to go through the video. Alright, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>